We are in Backup Exec 2014. I'm going to show you how to push out an agent to another computer. Just go ahead and click on the upper left-hand corner, so that way we can back up those other computers. Installation of licensing. Install agents and Backup Exec servers on other servers. And once that comes up, we can go ahead and we can put in either the name of the computer or you can put in the IP address of the computer. Now, the default is to install full-blown backup exec onto that computer, but we don't want to do that. We just want to put the agent so we can just back it up. So choose the second option. And we're going to go ahead and use the IP address because for some reason, sometimes using the name of the computer, it fails more often than if you just choose uh, the IP address. So we'll go ahead and put in the administrator information here. And agent for Windows is good. And now we'll wait for it to validate. And it usually only takes about 30 seconds or so. Now if it has an error, it gives you the option to go back in and fix it. So we'll go ahead and click Edit, the agent. And then we can see uh, the information here. And sometimes it just wants you to put in the domain name backslash username instead. Alright, now it's ready to go. We'll go ahead and click Next. And this can take a short amount of time, a long amount of time, depends on how far away the computer is, what speed you're connecting, that kind of thing. So you're going to see a percentage complete from 0 to 100 and that's just the copying process and there's going to be another percentage for the installation process and if it fails at any point then it will back out and undo the installation and once that's done if it's successful it will tell you it's successful and we'll go ahead and choose next and then finish all right after several minutes it appears that the uh, installation was successful go ahead and click next and we can choose to submit usage or not, or click the View Readme file and click Finish. Now we see the other server that we just installed is shown up, and then we can go ahead and back up. First, you have to right click on it and choose to establish trust, and then uh, we'll, we'll see the option to run the backups.